Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Golden Bachelorette Editors Accused of Removing Joan's Flaws Joan Vassos is a beautiful woman, but fans think the Golden Bachelorette Editors are going too far in removing her flaws. Stay on this page for a glimpse at the real Joan. Clip from Disney Date shows real Joan Vassos. Joan Vassos had her first one-on-one -on -one date on season one of The Golden Bachelorette. She went to Disneyland with Chalk Chapel. The insurance exec from Kansas is already the fan favorite. His connection with Joan only grew during their date, and they shared their first kiss. One Bachelor Nation viewer took to Reddit with a minor complaint about the season. They shared a TikTok video of Joan from the Disney date. The Bean fan wrote, Joan looks much more like a woman her age in this unfiltered post from Disney. They caked that makeup on thick for the show, and it is super visible here. After pushback from other viewers, the OP added, I love Joan. I think she's amazing. I hate how they try to make her look much younger when aging is a bad thing. Golden Baccalaureate Editors Accused of Removing Joan's Flaws the Reddit post did receive a lot of comments agreeing that ABC is editing out Joan's flaws too much. Check out some of the responses. To be fair, the type of cameras and professional lighting do a lot, not only filters. I mean, in some scenes, Chalk was straight up gray. Then the next scene, he was red like a tomato and looked sick. She still looks good, but I see what you mean. Her makeup looks cakey or uneven to me. I haven't been watching the season so can't speak to what they're doing on it. But they filter the 20-something bachelorettes. It was very obvious that they were filtering Jen, trying to make us all forget what actual people look like. It's silly. I really wish they'd just tone down the filtering in general because it's so much more refreshing to see the real her. I actually had the same thought when they showed her on DDTS. She's gorgeous regardless, but WoW Bachelor must have intense lighting. I've also thought that while watching, her face looks too perfectly smoothed in most scenes. Honestly, I have more problems with the long hair extensions. I think they're too much. Over-filtering TV stars might be a problem at ABC. Soap fans were confused earlier this week by General Hospital star Michael E. Knight's drastic change in appearance compared to just a few months ago. In the glitzy world of reality television, where rose ceremonies dictate love stories and dramatic confessions unfold under the soft glow of chandeliers, the latest controversy on The Golden Bachelorette has added a new wrinkle to the genre. Joan Carter, the fan-favorite contestant vying for love on the senior spin-off, has been at the center of an editing storm. Fans are up in arms, claiming that the show's editors have carefully airbrushed Joan's journey, portraying her as a flawless figure devoid of the usual human struggles. A portrayal that is starting to feel as manufactured as the twinkling lights that bathe every episode. The allegations emerged after viewers began noticing a strange discrepancy between Joan's social media presence and the way she appeared on the show. While her Instagram portrayed her as a lively, sharp, but very much imperfect woman navigating the complexities of midlife, the golden baccalaureate version of Joan looked like a Hallmark movie heroine, poised, polished, and always saying the right thing. The more cynical fans on social media started calling her Golden Joan, a reference to her seemingly golden persona that glowed without a hint of tarnish. It didn't take long before eagle-eyed fans began analyzing the edits. A thread popped up on Reddit, where dedicated sleuths compared raw behind-the-scenes clips, teasers, and outtakes with the final product aired on ABC. In the raw footage, Joan could be seen occasionally stumbling over her words or looking visibly tired during long days of filming. There were moments where she seemed a bit irritated with producers, or where her thoughts appeared conflicted. But none of this made it to the show. On air, Joan was radiant, her words edited into perfectly delivered wisdom. Her conversations with the other contestants were spliced into coherent, inspirational monologues, 
and her supposed moments of doubt were transformed into reflections of a woman with quiet confidence. This is where the accusations really began to gather steam. Had the editors of The Golden Baccalaureate intentionally removed Joan's flaws to craft an image that was simply too good to be true? According to an anonymous source who worked on the show's production team, the answer might be yes. Joan was wonderful, the source admitted, but she was also human. There were moments when she struggled with the emotional intensity of the process, like any normal person would. But the narrative the producers wanted to create was that of a graceful woman who has it all together, even in her 60s. They wanted her to look like she's beyond the typical dramas that plague younger contestants. It was all part of the appeal, but it's not the full picture. The revelation sparked a wider discussion about the role of editing in reality TV, particularly in shows like The Golden Bachelorette, where the contestants are older and, theoretically, more grounded. While drama is always an essential ingredient in these shows, fans had hoped The Golden Bachelorette would provide a more authentic glimpse into the complexities of finding love later in life. Instead, many now feel that they've been served a fairy tale with Joan cast as the perfect protagonist. This isn't the first time reality TV has faced criticism for its editing choices. The Bachelor and The Bachelorette franchises have long been accused of manipulating storylines to heighten drama or to create fan favorites and villains. However, the situation with Joan feels different. For many viewers, Joan represented something aspirational, but also real. In her early confessionals, she talked about the challenges of dating again, after the loss of her husband, and her fears of being vulnerable on national television. But as the season progressed, those complexities faded, and what remained was an almost too perfect depiction of a woman in control of her emotions and circumstances. Longtime fans of the franchise began to voice their frustrations on social media. I love Joan from the beginning wrote one viewer on Twitter, but now I don't even feel like I know her. She's been edited into this perfect woman who never gets flustered, never doubts herself, and always says the right thing. That's not the Joan I signed up to root for. Another fan chimed in, it feels like they're scared to show older women with real emotions and real flaws. Why can't Joan be imperfect? That would make her even more relatable. The controversy even caught the attention of some media outlets, with entertainment pundits weighing in on the ethics of editing. Reality TV editing has always been about constructing narratives, said one media critic on a popular podcast. But when it comes to shows like The Golden Bachelorette, which is supposed to be about a more mature, authentic search for love, the editing should reflect that. Joan's storyline was an opportunity to show a real, nuanced portrayal of a woman in her 60s, and instead, it feels like they've edited her into a fantasy version of herself. For her part, Joan has remained relatively quiet on the subject, though she did address the controversy briefly in an interview. I think reality TV is a tricky thing, she said with a knowing smile. What you see on the screen is a version of events but it's not the whole picture. I have my moments, just like anyone else, but I'm proud of the way I handled myself, even if every single moment didn't make it to air. Her response, while gracious, did little to quell the debate. As the season nears its finale, fans are left wondering if they'll ever get to see the real Joan, flaws and all, or if the show will continue to present her as the picture of perfection. In the meantime, the accusations against the Golden Bachelorette editors continue to swirl, as viewers grapple with the increasingly blurred line between reality and fiction in a genre that promises authenticity, but often delivers something else entirely. Whether the controversy will have any lasting impact on the show or its editing practices remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. Joan's Golden Glow, carefully curated by the editors, has started to dim in the eyes of some fans who would rather see a bit more of her true self, imperfections and all.